Hey there, Leo. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to September of 2022. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this video, this reading, this message finds you well. So we're going to be looking at your month of September from the point of view of true sidereal astrology, okay? If you are new to true sidereal astrology, you've never heard about it or you've never really seen anything about it, then you found yourself in the right place. I highly recommend and encourage that you stick around smash that like button for me leave me a comment in the comment section down below letting me know how this resonates with you how you feel about it and also subscribe yeah because anytime that i talk about astrology here on this channel i always talk about it from the guys or from the view of true sidereal astrology so if you're interested in experiencing and or learning more stick around yeah i am available for private readings if you would like to get a private reading with me check the information in the description box below shoot me an email let me know you're interested and i will be very very happy to set that up for you and also if you've never seen a copy of your true sidereal chart shoot me an email let me know you're interested send me all of your information your birth chart I'm sorry, your birth date, the time and the place. And I will be more than happy to draw that up for you and send you a copy of your chart free of charge. But also if you would like a to book a session with me in terms of interpreting your natal chart, I would be very happy to book that with you. Again, just shoot me an email, let me know you're interested and we'll get you all hooked up, yeah? All right, Leo, let's just dive right into this here. So this month of September, uh, 2022 is feeling like a really great time for you to get some uh, groundwork going, get yourself started in terms of a new career moves or any sort of new career moves for you. Um, Uranus has been transiting through Aries for a while. For you, Leo, this is transiting through Aries, yes, but also through your ninth house. So I feel like over this time period, over the last year, maybe year and a half, or so you have been going a going through a radical change in yourself learning new things about yourself discovering new aspects of yourself or completely just reshaping your focus now for you um the other thing that i want to mention is that mars is moving through the constellation of taurus and for you leo leo rising yes uh keep in mind guys that we're talking for about the leo rising energy um and at least when it comes to the placement of the planets in the in the houses and all that this is going to resonate or be truthful or accurate for a leo rising but that doesn't mean that if you're like say a leo moon or a leo sun that this couldn't resonate for you it's just that when we talk about the placement of the planets in the chart it's only going to be accurate for a leo rising but the energy could still resonate for you okay anyway the other thing i want to mention for you here is that mars is transiting through taurus right now and for you leo mars is transiting through taurus in the 10th house for you so this is the house of your public image the way that people see you but it's also the house of your career and career aspirations and I definitely, with that said, you know, with Uranus going through Aries, really helping you get a reshaping of your sense of self, any sort of new career moves that you would like to make, now is the time to really get started with that because Mars moving through Taurus really gives us a very um, tenacious energy, gives us that drive, that follow through to see things through to create the new, okay? Um, so let's see, if you stay consistent and continue with the hard work you could really find yourself in a brand new position by the time mars moves into gemini or really just whenever the moment is right whenever the energies or the divine timing is right okay now mars is going to be transiting through uh lee i'm sorry through taurus until late march of 2023 okay so this is going to be an extended um transit um Taurus is a little bit of a bigger constellation in the sky. Also, Mars is going to retrograde in, in Taurus, okay? So by the time we reach March of 2023, the end of March of 2023, that's when uh, Mars is going to officially move into Gemini. 
Okay, now, like I was saying, this is all moving through your 10th house. You may find yourself or you have set yourself up to be considered or seen as an expert in your field or people may be looking to you for advice should you really keep up with the hard work and the focus and the dedication to create whatever new it is in your life, especially if this is career wise. Okay, Um, now people may be looking to you for advice or they just want to pick your brain about something that you have consistently proven that you know a lot about, but that takes you staying consistent. Okay, Leo, Um, the new moon on August 27th, back on August 27th was in your sign of Leo. All right. Um, And with that, it was, and and this was happening in your first house, Leo. Okay. So that seems to have brought with it a sense of refreshment and newness, Um, maybe even a renewed sense of inspiration for you to really get going in whatever new it is you want to create here. Uh, There is also a sense of seriousness with that new moon back on August 27th. You may have had a moment of getting very real with yourself about what you want and what you may need to do to achieve it okay Uh, the new moon any new moon is a really great time to uh, clear the clean the slate uh, press that reset button get things clear clear out energies of the old so that you have the space to create the new and that's really where especially since this was in your first house the house of self I feel like you really had a moment where you got real with yourself okay you got down to business or you decided that you were going to get down to business and now you really have that opportunity to move forward. Now, by the time we reach the full moon, you may be influenced to start to bring this new sense of you out into the world, or you may start to see how your effect or how the effects of your efforts are really resonating with the outside world. And the outside world does really, and the greater collective or the people that you're involved with um, are really accentuated during this full moon, which is going to be uh, late September 9th, early into the early morning of September 10th. Um, that full moon is going to be in the sign of Aquarius, the constellation of Aquarius. Okay. The moon will be in Aquarius. The sun will still be in your sign of Leo. So however it is, you seem to have reset yourself by the time we reach that full moon energy. Look at that. The Knight of wands just popped out for you here. That's when I really feel like you're going to be feeling really driven to move forward, taking those action steps towards bringing whatever it is you want to bring to the collective out into the new world or just having the drive that burst of energy and power to move forward towards your dreams because remember Aquarius where the moon will be during this full moon is the ruler of the 11th house. The 11th house is your wishes and your fears and also your social groups. The 11th house is another house in which uh, we really focus on or have the opportunity to do some real great communicating. So actually this is coming through right now. Um, if you, if you need to reach out to people or if you need to incorporate any other people, you want to get some team members on, on your side or on board with your projects, the full moon on September 9th, September 10th could really help you drive towards that. Um, you may have the power that you need to really start to branch out or reach out to people to find new ways forward. The next card you have here is the six of swords. Okay. Um, use that energy of the full moon to really drive you forward. And I, especially if some of you are really trying to recreate a a life for yourself or create a new life for yourself, I really feel like this is an excellent time period throughout the month of September for you to get the ball rolling, to move you from rough waters to beautiful, new, calmer waters. Okay. Um, the, really the, 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 the message here or the feeling of this energy for you is having that drive, having that inspiration, having that energy to drive forward and pursue what it is you are really trying to pursue. Okay. Now, uh, let's see here. Let's see, Uh, by the time we reach the full moon, you may be influenced to start bringing this new sense of you out into the world, or you may start to see how your effects are resonating with the outside world. Now, on the other hand, some of you may be influenced to begin to balance your personal efforts with others around you, okay? In this full moon, with it being in Aquarius here, look, the 10 of pentacles did come out for you here. Your long-term goals, and this is also a 10th house energy, this 10 of pentacles. 
goals. Your long-term goals are on in real focus, all right? And with Aquarius being the ruler of the 11th house, that being your house of social groups and whatnot, whatever, some of you actually may feel inspired to make changes in your social groups. Like I said, reaching out to people that may want to work, work with you in this, if you're needing partners or you're needing team members, but also you may feel inspired to reshape your social groups during this full moon, okay? If you're finding that the people that you have around you are, that are influencing you are not in alignment with your long-term goals, the 10 of pentacles, you may feel inspired, the knight of wands to move forward, feel that shot of energy to move forward away from those connections or those circumstances that are not ultimately serving your long-term goals, okay? So with that said, now that I've talked through all of this, let me show you the chart. So what you have in front of you, Leo, is your chart for the month of September 22. Of course, this is for a Leo rising. Yes, the moon, or I'm sorry, the sun is in your first house transiting through Leo. And uh, as you can see up here, Mars is in your 10th house in Taurus, all right? Giving you that tenacity to really reshape your life. Go for those long-term goals. However you wanna reshape your life, do it, okay? Take advantage of these energies. Now, I'm also picking up on with this Knight of Wands here, Knight of Wands does represent Sagittarian energy. And like I said, Uranus is here in your ninth house moving through Aries. The ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius. Some of you, this career, this new career goal could absolutely be about teaching, uh, learning and teaching. Some of the things that you've experienced in your life, you may really feel inspired to really start sharing your message, communicating with people. And that's definitely an element that could be accepted accentuated by this full moon. Let me uh, fast forward a little bit here. We're going to go to the 9th of September. Uh, the full moon is the moon is the, the sun is in your first house. The moon is in Aquarius in your seventh house, Leo. This is another energy, another reason why you could really want to branch out. Okay. Not only will the moon be in social Aquarius, but this will also be in your seventh house. Um, the house of, of real like social uh, environments, your interpersonal relationships, okay, law and order and balance. Again, this could be, ooh, okay. Um, also, the, seven, the seventh house could represent legal situations, all right? But also, there is a feeling here of if your social environment or the people that you have around you, your social associations are not in alignment with your long-term term goals, this full moon could really inspire you to move forward from that. Of course, bringing with it a sense of grief and maybe even guilt, the five of cups. Do not allow yourself to feel guilty, Leo. If you need, if you find that you need to leave certain associ associations or certain friendships, um, social groups, whatnot, whatever, if you need to leave those behind, do not allow yourself to be guilted or shamed there because ultimately with the moon being in your seventh house of balance, law, and order, uh, ruled by Libra, however it is you're feeling influenced to move forward and leave certain connections behind, it really is going to serve your greater good. It's going to serve your highest good because it's going to be helping you facilitate a level of balance here. The next card that's come out is the emperor. You have the right to make the executive decision for yourself. Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. I am feeling like some of you are going to have to communicate Okay, you're gonna have to set the record straight. And what I'm picking up on here, Leo, is that in terms of you setting the record straight, you are some of you are going to have to, to tell the people around you, the associations that you had, you're gonna have to communicate. You're gonna have to communicate with them about who you are now in this moment, okay? You're not necessarily the same person that you were in the past that helped you connect with these individuals. And that's okay, Leo. Everybody changes. We are meant to go through circumstances in our life that help us to expand and to change and to grow, okay? You are not required to stay the same old person that you were before. And if you find yourself in that place, especially think about it this way, 
You have Uranus, which has been moving through Aries. Aries is in your ninth house, okay? Higher learning, expansion, stand, stepping out of your comfort zone. This moment of, of Uranus moving through Aries over the last about year and a half, I wanna say, has really been helping you reshape your sense of self. So if it's time for you to finally communicate about that and set the record straight, the, uh, the, the emperor here, which also does represent Aries energy, the emperor here is giving you that green light that uh, that that permission to say this is my life this is who i am this is what i'm moving forward towards if you are not in alignment with my long term goals then i'm going to have to move forward please do not allow yourself to feel guilty for that all right leo Okay, next thing that I would like to talk about. Oh, you do have, we do have Mercury retrograde this month. Mercury retrograde starts on September 9th, right around the time of the full moon. For you, Leo, Mercury is going to be moving retrograde from your second house of your values to the first house, okay? Your house of self. The Knight of Cups has just come out here. Um, your heart, compassion, what it is you really want, okay? What is really within your heart? What is resonating with your heart, all right? Allow yourself to have the compassion for yourself to move forward with that. But Mercury moving retrograde from the second house back into your first house is really going to help you reshape that energy. So however it is that your values have changed or however it is you are wanting to change your focus, change your career, change how it is you make money, Mercury moving retrograde from your second into your first house through the constellation of Virgo is going to give you that time period to set the record straight, to rewrite that programming, to start the new practices, the new routines that you would need to move forward and achieve your goals, okay? But make sure this is in alignment with your heart. Knight of Cups, all right? Okay, anything else? Uh, yes, let's fast forward a little bit more to the new moon. Let's look at the new moon for you, which is going to be around September 25th. Um, the new moon for you is going to be straddling your second and first houses. So this is a, a great time to really wipe that slate clean. There is a stellium, okay, between the sun, the moon, Mercury, and Venus. Venus being involved in this energy for the collective, I'm feeling like is giving a shot of fertilizer. I feel like this new moon is really an excellent time for you to really get that fertilizer going to really get that thing going get the ground broken and set the record straight and have a clean slate for you to move forward here okay this is a really beautiful energy leo i really want to encourage you to take advantage of it moving forward all right let's see if i can get a closing message for you here from the tarot closing message for leo Leo rising specifically, but any Leo energy that really could resonate this with this for the month of September. There's justice again. Setting the record, record straight, balancing out your life. You really have an excellent opportunity, Leo, this month of September 22 to really start the process of doing whatever it is you need to do. Start that process. There's the page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, breaking that new ground, okay? Really allow yourself to start that process, break that new ground to balance out the scales for you and bring some serious justice into your life. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in, Leo. I really, truly hope this was helpful for you. Please do not hesitate to leave me a comment in the comment section down below letting me know how this resonates. Smash that like button for me. Subscribe for more beautiful messages, both true sidereal astrology and just general tarot messages. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, whether that be just a general tarot reading or a, a natal sidereal, a true sidereal chart analysis, Find my email address down in the description box below. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be very, very happy to get you all hooked up. With that said, Leo, I hope you have a fantastic month. I'm sending you so much love and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.